And new at noon, Governor Reeves held a news conference this morning to discuss the massive investments in state infrastructure projects that have now been signed into law. But most of the infrastructure projects Reeves highlighted have been vetoed. In a Facebook post, Reeves shared the state will no longer spend $14 million in revitalizing golf courses. That includes the recently announced LaFleur's Bluff expansion and golf course. He states that they're just not a good investment when there are other needs to focus on, such as roads, water, and bridges. Reeves also vetoed the $2 million planetarium project. He says Jackson City Council needs investment in safety and more police officers. Here's a clip from the conference on which projects are expected to be completed with those funds. And now with these funds um, that we are we are putting to, to good use, uh, as well as some other monies that the legislature uh, gave the Department of Transportation and other city and, and county governments, um, the Mississippi Economic Council said that, that we need approximately $375 million a year more uh, to maintain our, our roads and bridges, and we're actually going to spend uh, much more than that uh, over the next several years. Governor Reeves wants to ensure Mississippians the decisions that were announced in the conference were very critical and a financial responsibility.